Hi and welcome to the September edition of Love Obi TV. Uh, we're outside, we're just keeping away from the showers. We are, I don't think it's It has been a bit of a it. mix of a summer, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not been good really, has so, it? So, but where are we today? We're at Obi Granville Tennis Club today. Fantastic. So, how's your summer been? Uh, it's been okay. Yeah. Now I'm ready to go on holiday, which I'm doing in about two or three weeks' time, but it's Brilliant. been nice. Where are you off? Uh, Portugal. Lovely. Yeah, what but about you? You've just come back. Just come back from LA. Yeah, bit Very of nice a working, too. working break as well. Yeah, well, yeah, as you always so, work, though, don't yeah. you? So and you brought us all nice presents. Thank I did you very much some indeed. key rings and things. Yeah, lovely. But we're also joined by Ben. We are. So thanks Hello. for your time today, Ben. No, that's not a problem. So you're one of the coaches. Yes, here? yeah. So I'm I'm head coach here at Oldby Tennis Club. I've been wow. Head we coach. got the, we got head yeah. coach. No. <laughs> head coach. I think we should be curtsying yeah. and bowing. Yeah, sit up straight. <laughs> so you're the head coach here. Yep. So I've been head coach here for about six years okay. now. Um, but yeah, I've also got we've got like our main assistant here, um, Zahid as well. Okay. Who you might have seen just dashing out. Yes, earlier. yes, yeah. saw him earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, taking all his all his balls away all with his him. Kit. Yeah, he's yeah. managed to get out of this, so it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> short, 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 yeah. short straws. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to come back to you in a very short while, just whilst we talk about what's going on in the yeah. in the local area. Yeah. Um, so, um, we we were out and about, um, or colleagues of ours were in on the. Motor, Motorfest, yeah, Motorfest, Motorfest yeah. which was uh, the the weather stayed well with us. So yeah, yeah it wasn't too bad actually, but they yeah. had a cra cracking day, they again, didn't they? Br brilliant, brilliant day. Brilliant day. So yeah. we've got a few kind of clips just to show you about the kind of day that you missed, um, but also to save those moments if you went along. It was a great day. Hello, we're still here at the Obi Motorfest. We're here raising money for Rainbow's Children's Charity today. We've got a pound to go on the raffle, win one of our lovely hampers guess the balloons in the car and win a family pass to the Odeon Cinema or if you guess the sweets in the piñata you win the piñata. Results will be uh, given out at the end of the day so come along and see us, all money going to a really good cause. We've already had a really good response but there's always room for more money in these buckets so come on. So it was, was really really good day so mm. all, all those cars and the sporting mm. bears dream rides and everything. I couldn't make it unfortunately. No. Um, but I know Yvonne went and Sarah was obviously there yeah. and some of the guys from the other offices yeah. so and they, they did yeah. they said it was a, so, a good good yeah. fun day yeah. so. And I just want to talk about the, the Love Obi yeah. poster as well so we've got these Love Obi posters available which you can pick up from Knightsbridge Estate Agents so it's all about celebrating uh, what's great about Obi um, so we've listed all the kind of the key things things on there from festive lights and motor shows to a up me duck um, <laughs> did we uh, have to put sw that on? <laughs> swimming pools which is going to come in handy for one of our events that we're going to talk about yes, in a bit yes yes uh, the burst water main obviously that's yeah that's was a bit a of an ongoing thing with well. yeah. it was about a year ago you know um yeah, but that the last water of times, main happened because it? it was just after the last motor fest was it yeah the day after it all all the road okay, came up again. Just warn everybody that it might be due to happen again then. That's the <laughs> so case. the kids are all back at school. Um, but if you do want one of these, then please pop into Knightsbridge. Yeah. They're completely free of yeah. charge yeah. Um, as well. Um, but um, the defibrillator's been stolen mm, again. Again, and so, I'm, what, why is beyond me? No, I can't so like, quite what? understand the use that I mean it's there have. to save somebody's life why would you yeah. take it so I know it was it was stolen before someone yep. then found it it then got put back yeah um, so this is outside the co-op co funeral uh, care uh, business um, so if you do find a defibrillator lying around in the gutter somewhere then get in touch there is a, uh, a reward out there for the right uh, for the information that comes forward, um, but it costs about eight hundred pounds one of these, and normally it's fundraising that's got that's kind of gone into it. Mm. So, um, so if there is any news or information relating to that, please let it, it let us know. Yeah. Um, really would be great. Well, we so. need it back, don't we? Yeah. Somewhere along the line, somebody will probably need it. Unfortunately, yeah. so um, it needs to be found. So moving on to coffee, my favourite subject. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. So. Oh, I'll Mr. Page. Mr. Page, going forwards. <laughs> so the coffee pot at St. Paul's Church. You can't so, go to this though. No, I can't. No, because look. Could you? <laughs> yes, I <Okay. do>, yes. <laughs> so it's a drop-in coffee morning for the over 50s. Um, it takes place every Thursday, 10.30. Yep. Um, and that's on Hamble Road, OB, LE24NX. If you want to pop that into uh, Google or your sat-nav. 
Um, it's just a place to meet and chat, yes. hot drinks for 30p, followed by a seated exercise class. Yeah. Um, for an additional charge as well yeah, but, which I'm um, sure is very but well worth going along to so if you'd like some more information on that get in touch with us we can put you in contact with them but if not pop along to St Paul's Church um, on Hamble Road and they'd be welcoming you yeah, every Thursday from 10.30 10, sure. 10 yeah. so um, we've got something going on at Beach and Polly we have we've got a modern calligraphy workshop um, my mum used to do a lot of this actually and, and it is the, the writing and things is, is fantastic yeah. it's lovely um, so this says here it's great for beginners and also the people that are a little bit more experienced with uh, calligraphy um, it's a one day class uh, as well um, and it, it's going to leave you hopefully with the, the knowledge and the yeah. skills to be able to start doing uh, calligraphy yeah. um, and people use it people do use it for wedding invitations and things I know yeah. again my mum my mum um, did it for for my sister and for myself yeah. and things which yeah. was fantastic so yeah, yeah. brilliant so for more so, information yeah it's contact Beecham College um, you can email them at training at beecham.org.uk or call on 0116272 9137 and it's on Saturday the 7th of September because yeah. I think I forgot to mention that. Oh. It's a mystery it's next one. It has come. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it. might have taken count on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bit of a mystery the next one. Am I doing this one? Yeah. Oh, is this supposed to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> so, Who done it? Yeah. Uh, a Friday the 13th nightmare. Yeah. Mm. I don't know whether I sound like the sound of that or not. Murder mystery. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, held at Paul's Kitchen. Um, and obviously you've got to figure out who the murderer yeah. is. Yeah. Um, so um, it includes a three course meal, £34 per person and it is on Friday the 13th. Yeah. And, so we've, and we've obviously been to um, Paul's we, Kitchen. We have, We did yeah. one of our episodes yeah, it's there. Nice nice, there. Yeah. nice place there, nice food. Definitely. Nice coffee as well. Yes. Yeah. So, so that's we one of our well earlier, after. earlier episodes. Yeah. And that at, starts at 7 o'clock. So if you've not done yeah. one before, even if you have. Yeah. Long. Mystery solved. Yeah. So, there's no good me going because I'm We need to get to have some food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, psychic night as well yeah. at Paul's Kitchen. That's yeah. uh, a week or so later on the 21st. Yeah. Um, so, an evening with a psychic medium and amazing food. Well, we know the food's amazing there. Mm. Um, if anyone's out there that would like to speak to someone on the other side uh, or they want to speak out to you, £25 including. <laughs> a free course sharing platter. So, for more information, get in touch with food at Paul's the catering company .co .uk, yeah. or give them a call on 0116 210 8036. Yeah. And like I said, that's on the 21st. Yeah, of that starts September. at 7 as well. So, your favourite place next? Yeah, I always. I, that's I'm where we still, were last month. I know, and I keep waiting for you to tell me I can leave work early and go on one of these. So, um, this is at Chestnut's Coffee Shop again. Um, they've obviously done their glass making yeah. and things. This time it's um, silk painting. Um, so this is, it says here you'll learn how to design your own silk painting, how to transfer your design onto silk, um, how to use a gutter, if you know what that is, G-U-T-T-A, -T yeah. and make an outline, and how to explore your own creativity using colour, paints and texture. Yeah. Um, so the workshop, it always does include a cream tea, so that's yeah. even more of a door for going more anyway, an isn't it? Isn't it? And unlimited drinks. Wow. It's £35 a person. It's Friday the 20th of September between 4 and 7.30. I could get one of these worth and just free drinks. Well, you probably could yeah. actually. But uh, honestly, these are, uh, they're, what it's a brilliant a nice, idea. It's nice pleasant surroundings of Chester. Yeah, really lovely. Yeah. So I'll keep asking yeah. you if I can go at some point. So. You can go to the next one. The one after that. No, can it's I? in the next event. Oh, yeah, I thought I might be able to. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so we talked about on the Love Opry poster, it talks about swimming pools. Yeah. There's actually a charity swim with the Opie and Wigston Lions. Yes. Um, and that's on Saturday the 5th of October. I know we're looking a little bit further ahead, but it's, it's at the beginning of October. Though, it? It's not. not really. Um, 5.30 to 8.30, uh, sponsored by Everyone Active and Neville Chadwick Photography, obviously. Yeah. Neville Chadwick local Wigston business. Yes, he is in Wigston, yeah. Uh, Used him well. before, very good. So, um, so if you'd like more information, uh, you can contact Ian Bell at ihwbell at btinternet.com 
um, for the charity swim yeah, as definitely. well. So, and just on another Wigston lady, um, there's a lady at um, your place of work at Knightsbridge. She's doing the Leicester half marathon for the MS Society and I popped down earlier just to see why she's doing it and what it's all about so we've just got a very quick video on that okay you don't need to act all surprised no, and surprised. startled no? oh no no I do know who it okay. is yes yeah 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 sorry now I'm with yeah. it yeah thanks you read the script earlier yeah thanks. <laughs> so we've just got a very quick video about Tammy's journey and what she's going to be doing in the Leicester half brilliant Hi, it's Luke from Love OB and I've come along to Tammy at Knightsbridge Estate Agents in Wigston. Um, I know it's just down the road from OB, um, but um, Tammy's doing a very important run uh, this year with the Leicester Half Marathon, so we're going to find out a little bit more about what she's doing. Uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, Leicester Half Marathon. Wow. From How Victoria many miles? Uh, 13 and a half. But this isn't your first time, is it? No, I did it uh, four years ago. Cool. And what? How, how quickly did you manage to get round in? Um, well, I was looking at two and a half. Yeah. But I actually did it in two twenty. Well done. That's so uh, all my supporters weren't even yeah. there yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll just wait. I? So what's made you want to do that half marathon again? Um, mainly because obviously my other half's got MS. Okay. So um, so you're doing it for the MS Society. Yeah. yeah. MS Society. Yeah. Uh, I want to raise some. Not necessarily all funds, awareness, yeah. because we don't know what causes it, no. there's no cure for it, and there's about 14 people every day that's yeah. been diagnosed with it. Yeah, wow. So, uh, and also a personal challenge as yeah. well. So, and you mentioned earlier that the MS Society is, is close to your heart because yeah. your partner's got MS. Yeah. 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 So, um, you doing it alone? Do you doing, doing it as part of the uh, team? I'm going to do it with me friend. Yeah. Because um, my other teammates from four years ago. Okay. Like, well, that's it. I've done it now. Yeah. So, um, so you've left them behind and you've yeah. got someone else to help. I want to make sure it won't fluke. Yeah. So I need to do it again. Okay. <laughs> and have you got any targets as to how quickly you want to get round in? Um, I need to just get round. I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'd like to maybe match my time, if yeah. not quicker. But Brilliant. We'll Maybe even under two hours. Oh jeez, an hour <laughs> done. <laughs> so, um, so what what's the training been like? Because obviously you can't just get out of bed one day and no. decide that you're going to run a half marathon. As much as we want to just do that, um, I think last week we did nine and a half miles. Wow. Uh, so you're already up to that, that kind yeah, of like nearly just ten under mile two mark. hours. Yeah, that. brilliant. Um, but that's kind of the main. One yeah. we keep doing little four mile ones, yeah. but obviously it's been very hot. Yes, so um, that's good training, <laughs> weather for, good training weather for you because I know yeah. last year it was absolutely rain sodden, absolutely throwing it down. So, yeah. some people prefer that. So, how can people get involved if they want to help donate to the MS Society and track your progress? How can people get involved? Um, well, I've got a just, just giving page, yeah. Um, so you can just go on to justgiving.com, yeah, put in Tammy Ball, yeah, and my page will come up. Yeah. Um, there's a big uh kind of poster on it saying yeah. his fight my fight yeah kind of thing cool. um so you can donate online um, brilliant yeah or just go to the ms society website yeah fantastic so we'll include the link for the just giving uh website as well um you'll be able to track track tammy and we'll we'll keep you updated as to how the progress goes with the training maybe catching with you before you set out on that final yeah. final bit of training yeah. that training program so mm -hmm. it'd be really great to share that kind of story and that personal reason as to why you why you're doing it how does your partner feel with you doing this yeah he um he says it's great yeah obviously he says you don't have to do it but i just want to yeah. give back because i see how it, he struggles just so. make sure you get him out of bed on that sunday morning oh, yeah, to come and support prosecco you. at the end <laughs> I'll be right. i'm running for the prosecco yeah <laughs> fantastic so um but if you want to get involved with the leicester half marathon um, raising money for different charities obviously it's organised but in conjunction with LOAS as well um, we'll pop the links for the details as to how you can get registered there's still time to get your entry in um, and we'll keep you up to date with Tammy's progress as to how things go so she's aiming to try and beat her last time which was 2 hours 20 good for her which is pretty good for half marathon have you mm. been you run a half marathon no I've not I've never done it to be fair never no. felt the urge to uh, not really I mean you know, I do quite a lot of hours on court, so it's like, yeah. I have to do he that a weekend. Yeah. It's like, I'm then 
shattered for the rest of the week. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand. Particularly when your job's quite active. You've yeah. asked me if I've done any. Have you run? Yes, run I've done about eight half marathons eight. and a full marathon as well. Wow. And my quickest time for my half marathon was 158.58. Oh, well done. Yeah. Just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> so, yeah. 146. Was... Seriously? Mm. Very Almost, because 145 is eight minute mile pace. Yeah. And so it was just over eight minute. It was just over eight minute mile pace. I was gutted. Good. No, because it's just that kind of a milestone, isn't it, in, mm. in, in your head? But is that two hour mark yeah. for me? It was always like, and, and I've only ever just managed to get round. Just, just anyone to get round though. Yeah. Brilliant. So I mean, again, the Leicester Half. It's organised in conjunction with Loras. Really good local charity yeah. obviously we did the tower run with yeah. Loras earlier in the yeah. year so yeah um but so ben we're in this I'm gorgeous gorgeous Don't, weather now. yeah gorgeous mm. weather these fabulous tennis courts here Brilliant, so so how can people get involved with the club um so basically we've, we've got like memberships ranging from juniors sort of from three four years old oh, okay. up to, up to so it's not just age. adults that can come no, along no, no, so children can come yeah, along yeah children we do we do lots of sessions for kids during the week yeah. Monday to Saturday okay from sort of ages four to eighteen we've got roughly about I think twenty four or twenty five group sessions a week for wow. kids busy um, so it's quite an yeah. active, active yeah club. yeah it's, it is it, it's it's busy yeah. at the moment yeah it's very busy and the sessions that you do do they cater for all levels so from someone that's not picked up a racket before to through to someone that's ready to go to play yeah. at Wimbledon. Yeah, yeah, again for, for all ages. We yeah. basically do it on like um we do it in stages. So okay. if you've not played before you basically start from stage one. Yeah. Which we kind of downsize the court a little bit. So stage one we play in sort of a third of the size yeah. of the full court yeah. and then we, we base the technique around that and we slowly build the technique and the size of the court as yeah. they go through the stages. Yeah. So we have like mini red players, which are like ages three to eight. Yeah. We have mini orange, which are nine and under. Mini green, ten and under. Then age eleven plus is just a full yeah. ball. Yeah. But still, even within those age groups, we have a stage one, a stage two, and a stage three. Yeah. And actually, a stage four as well. So you've got your ball. separate age categories, and then it breaks it down into the yes. different levels. Yes. Good. Yeah. Levels That's right. of ability. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and is it? okay for people to come along if they just want to play they don't want to be competitive they yeah. just want to come along learn how to get some exercise yep Again, so there's no pressure here to, no. to actually enter competitions or no. anything like even that even if you just want to play we have plenty of social mixing sessions yeah. like on Tuesdays and Thursdays mornings what we've just seen yeah well here. when we got when we got yeah, here they, there was a few games yeah. going on and yeah, yeah. there were some ladies here having a having a bit of a that's drink that's right yeah the social side's good again there's even a, a social membership category as well whether you yeah. just want to come and you know, we have things going on like yoga and stuff inside. We wow. have bridge club and things like this. Yeah. Um, or yeah, if you just want to play socially, if you're a member, you can play anyone. You can book yeah. a court, and once you're a member, it's free as yeah. long as they're available as well. Um, yeah, we've got mix-ins in the evenings, weekends, um, all sorts. Yeah. yeah. It must be quite satisfying with, with uh, obviously taking someone that maybe hasn't picked up a racket or maybe a young child, and cause it helps grow their confidence gives them different different skills obviously yeah. it's exercise it must be quite rewarding it is yeah I think you know tennis is a sort of game that it gives you a lot of like life skills as well really because even from a young age you know it, it teaches you a lot you're, you're out there it's not a team sport you know it's an individual sport you know there's a lot of responsibilities that come with that just yeah. by playing you know it's things like you have to score yeah. your own matches you know if you're four or five years old mm. even that is yeah. quite Mm. A big thing. You have yeah. to be confident to yeah. do that as well. Yeah. yeah. But um, teach you a lot to do with like discipline and yeah. just as a sport, it's got lots of transferable skills with like catching, lots of movement, yeah. hand-eye coordination. Brilliant. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's a real. It's a game that has a lot of variety to yeah. it, and I think that's what what makes it quite fun. And mm. as a coach, it makes it, you know, for me personally, it's quite an easy sport to teach to to make it fun as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, I would imagine there must have been some players that have come through the ranks here and that have maybe gone on to greater things. Yeah, I mean, we're sort of in that process as well, really, because, I, I mean, I've only sort of been here six years. I mean, um, the first couple of years, it was just about growing the numbers, getting yeah. lots of people mm. through the door to begin with. So we had players from a young age to then feed through later on mm. to, to older age groups and yeah. to eventually represent the club, whether it's junior or adult level. 
Um, but now we've kind of got to the stage, now I've got an assistant as well. I was getting to a stage where I was just, so I was stacked. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I got to a point where I couldn't really take it much further on my own. I imagine you must so, go home shattered. Exercising yeah, sometimes. All day long. Very fit. Yeah. Sometimes. You, I mean, yeah. you get used to it. Yeah, it's yeah. one of the things that yeah. once you acclimatize yeah. to it, it just becomes the normal. normal. Yeah. Your body yeah. just adapts to it. And yeah. 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 It's more. I mean, for me personally, it's more of a mental. It's more mentally tiring, yes. I'd say, because yeah. you have to be. You know, if you want to, you know, do a good lesson or a good bunch of lessons, it's it takes planning and Structuring and sometimes right, yeah. you know you have to be quite alert yeah. you know yeah. you're constantly looking at, at someone else assessing yes. someone's game it can be mentally you have to be creative as yeah. well with what you do so it can be mentally you've quite... got to make it stimulating for them yeah as well, exactly you? Particularly yeah for the younger yeah but ones, also so. for, you know for myself in yeah. some ways as well yeah. if, if i'm just doing the same thing over and over again you yeah. know it, it can get it can get it can get tiring if I've yeah. seen that before with other coaches in particular yeah. as well. Yeah. You have to be you have to be creative yeah. Yeah. to make it enjoyable for yourself and yeah. your players really. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You have to be all in. And I imagine you probably see the normal uh, kind of uplifting interest around things like Wimbledon and other yeah. kind of tournaments because yeah. again it it gets it gets it out there even if you're not a, a tennis player. A lot of people just want. Want to enjoy watching Wimbledon? Do, yeah, and you get yeah. that bug for it, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So. Especially at Wimbledon time of year, we normally get a few extra players yeah. through the door. We have our open day normally around that time as yeah. well, as it seems to tie in. Yeah. yeah, it's good for us to advertise around yeah. that time as well. But yeah. Um, yeah, people for those two weeks just go tennis mad. Yeah. Yeah. So, for someone that's watching this, how can they look at getting involved, coming along? How can they reach out and get in contact? Well, basically, we've got our website, Open okay. Tennis. We've got um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter pages. All the information is on there and links to our website. Yeah. Um, also, even just popping in and coming through yeah. on the door, you know, there's always someone here. Or even if not, there's plenty of information scattered around yeah. the clubhouse with sessions for kids, adults. Um, and the first session's free as well, so there's no cool. pressure to even commit to anything. Right. Just come yeah. and give it a go to start with. See if you like it. And then even then, you, once you've had your first session, you can just pay as you go for certain yeah. sessions or just try a term if you're a kid in the school term. Just see what you think to it before you really have to commit to anything. Brilliant. That's oh, really good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, so. it, is, it is really, really good. Mm. Now, I appreciate your time. That's mm. great. Um, and if you do... Uh, if you're unsure about where the tennis club is, it's just at the bottom of the, yeah. the Leicester Road, yeah. just before the race course yeah. roundabout. Can't really so miss it, you, can you? it's just on the left, just left, left hand side turn before the race course roundabout. Pop in, um, see see what it's all about. Um, again, it could be played during the winter months as well. They've got yeah, because we were talking earlier, weren't we? Yeah. You, you know, whether it's raining or frosty yeah. or whatever. Some of the courts were saying, right. were saying as they're yeah. slightly all better. Courts, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but, but mm. brilliant. Yeah. So it is an all year yeah, round sport. No, fantastic. So, so that kind of wraps it up for September's episode again of, of Love OB TV. We're so at Christmas, won't we? we will be at Christmas. Gosh, Don't. Santa's grotto time. I know. That's coming around quite yeah. rapidly. So, yeah. um, if you would like your event or business featuring or community group, please get in touch with us. It's info at loveobi.co.uk or reach out to us on our Instagram or Facebook page. Uh, we'd love to get involved. Um, and we'll see you in October. Yeah. Well, take care.